Let's talk about holster setup, guys. Uh, this holster was recently returned to me by a guy who was apparently trying to carry it strong side, judging by the angle at which he's got these soft loops. But he was unhappy. He didn't reach out to me, unfortunately. I probably could have worked through some things with him. He asked for a wedge, which he uh, mutilated pretty good. Generally, for strong side, I would recommend removing the wedge. Um, his second mistake was that as he's changed the angle here, he didn't rotate these a little bit. And let me grab a screwdriver real quick and do that. Because if you want to change the right angle, the cant on that, Simply want to loosen these. All right. Now, these soft loops obviously need to be parallel to each other. And so that's the angle he should have had it at. That gave him a problem by leaving them straight. This one is set up on the one and three quarter inch belt loop sizing, and this one is down on the one and a half. So this one's going to have, this one's going to be functionally bigger than this soft loop here. And so that's another mistake. You want to set those up to be parallel. And also, make sure you have them adjusted to the right size. It should fit your belt exactly. Now you see how this tends to kind of stick out? You really want it fitting down tight over the belt like this. Once you get it to the right belt size, you can pinch that uh, with, a, with a pair of pliers. You won't damage it. They're a rubberized nylon. And it will help... It will help take out some of the extra bulge here, give you a slightly better concealment. So make sure you size them appropriately and have them parallel. The other issue that I wanted to address is holster length. And this is probably the number one complaint. Why are the holsters longer than the gun? Well, if you order a subcompact like this G26 here, you see there's some room there at the end of the slide, essentially dead space. Now, if you're going to carry appendix, this is actually a good thing for the most part because of the, the keel effect. This is uh, the top of your belt line if you're leaving it up where you can get your full grip on that. Now, if you're going to bury it uh, in your pants, the deeper you go, of course, the better concealment you get, and it slows your draw down a little bit. But even if you do that, the problem with the hardware, you set this hardware in the right spot, you've got to leave room for the finger. Sure, if you move it up here, Gain a little bit extra space, and now you can could trim some of this down if you wanted. But there's not actually enough room. I can just barely get my finger in here. It, it actually touches. And on a fast draw, you're going to be throwing your hand in there. You're going to bump your finger a whole bunch, scrape it up. That's pretty miserable. So this claw has to be set away from the trigger guard just a little bit. And then you've got to have that room. You don't want to cut right up against it because that weakens it, it's going to fail. And so there's the big problem. That's about as short as the 26 gets with me, and it's as long as a G19. So not a huge difference, but I wanted to explain why it is the way it is. Uh, you guys have a great day. If you have any questions, let me know.